Hey YouTube, this is Free Pally for me, and today's video is how to jailbreak your iDevice on iOS 5.1.1. This jailbreak works on iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, iPod 4, and 3rd gen, and also on iPad 1. This doesn't work on iPhone 4S, iPad 2, or iPad 3, but soon it'll be out. Uh, this is a tethered jailbreak. For those of you who don't know what a tethered jailbreak is, it's when your device powers off for any reason, low battery, or you powered it off. You're going to have to reconnect it to Red Snow, and I'm going to show you the steps you have to do in a minute. Okay, let me show you. I am on iOS 5.1.1 on my iPod. And right there, iOS 5.1.1. Okay, you need two things for this. You want the uh, latest version of Red Snow, and also you want the IPSW for your firmware of your, your version which is you want to download the 5.1 not the 5.1.1 because the latest version of Red Snow hasn't been updated to recognize it so we're gonna trick Red Snow into rec thinking it's a 5.1.1 when it's ac actually 5.1 I mean the opposite okay after downloading open Red Snow and you want to go to extras select IPSW and you want to find your IPSW for 5.1 open okay then you want to go back and go to jailbreak before that you want to connect your device okay and you can see it says iPod touch 4G 5.1.1 you want to hit jailbreak and you want to give it a minute Okay, now you're going to get this screen, and once you get it, all you need to do is hit install Cydia, and if you want battery percentage, but do not hit install custom bundles, because that's going to make your jailbreak go away. So we're going to hit next, and here you're going to put your device in DFU mode, we're going to do that ahead of time. We're going to do that by holding the power button for 3 seconds, then the home button for another 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, you want to let go of the power button, but continue holding the home button until it bypasses the step. Once you get this, you can let go. And the rest takes place, and it's automatically going to start jailbreaking. And I don't know why, but it's in a low brightness. I guess that's how it is. This is what you can have on your device. And uploading RAM disk. And it's still the same picture. Uploading kernel. And it's almost done. And now your device is going to reboot and you're going to get these squiggly little lines. On Red Snow on the PC, it's going to say done, which is normal because the rest takes on your device. Okay, moving applications, this takes about a minute or two. Now the rest of the steps take on place on your device. We're going to give it a minute. I'm not going to skip anything so you guys can see exactly how much each step takes.
Okay, it's about time. On. It usually takes this long. Just be patient. Okay, there we go. Now the rest take is fast. It's installing bundles, and after it finishes, your device is going to reboot. And you can close out of Red Snow since we are done with it. Now, once your device power is on, we are you're going to see a white city icon, which is normal. And if you open it, it crashes. See, and sometimes Safari crashes. Yep, it just crashes. So what you want to do is go back to Red Snow and you want to extras select IPSW open and then you want to hit just boot tethered at the top and same steps you want to put your device into DFU mode by the same exact steps we did earlier Hold the power button for 3 seconds, then the home button for another 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, let go of the power button, but continue holding the home button. And you can let go. This time you're not going to get the screen on your device, you're going to get a pineapple logo. Just give it a minute. There's a pineapple logo, which means that it's working fine. And here we can close out of Red Snow. Okay, slide to unlock, okay, and you're going to see Cydia and a working Safari. Boom, there's Safari and Cydia. let it load if you go down here at the bottom it says iPod touch 4G I was 5.1.1 city 1.1.6 1 .1 okay that's about it if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel follow me on Twitter for updates um, if you have any question write it in comments down below I'll get to you as soon as possible Peace.